What's going on gamers? It's your boy Richie Bond Gaming bringing you my week six match versus the Sydney Sylveons coached by Cotton. It's currently pretty late at night here uh, because we have pretty disparate uh, time zones. So I'm just gonna jump into the battle and we're gonna see what happens. All right, now we are getting into the battle. There's Grafia and Slacking, okay, understood. This is pretty much exactly what I was expecting to see. No surprises here, really. Um, Slacking's pretty annoying for me. I think a good angle is the bronze on Vivian. Let's just try that. Let's just like see what happens with that. Um, Holt's okay. I think Valiant's gonna be better for us. And I think just having the nuke of Larry is gonna be good. So let's leave Dragapult and uh, Pachi on the bench for now. If my commentary isn't uh, full force, it is just late for me, so I apologize. Okay, there's those guys. This is one of the leads I was expecting to see, so we're just gonna go for the TR and the Rage Powder. Um, we're gonna give him Shield Dust, which I kind of don't really care about. So I'm expecting a doodle plus a swing of some sort. I have focus sash on Vivian, so uh, that's all fine. And there's the doodle. So they both get shield dust now, which kind of does nothing for them. Shadow Claw, interesting. Okay. Now we Iron Defense, and I could just swing a Psychic into, um, you know, the Shadow Claw going for crits is actually not a great thing for me. Um, I think I'll, I think I'll throw a Psychic out to Refai here. And then I can get a Pollen Puff on the next turn. Oh god. Oh god. How slow is that thing? Okay. We're stuck into Iron Defense, which I honestly am probably just going to roll with at this rate. We could probably just win the game with Bronze on if we put ourselves in a good enough position. So um, how many turns of, of Encore do we have? Three more? Yikes. Um... Yeah, let's just get rid of Grafii. I wasn't expecting um, that speed, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I should have Rage Powdered. Screen Tail, that's fine. What's their booster? Special Defense, please no. Please Physical Defense. Okay, we can deal with that. Good chunk. That's pretty nice. Okay, now we have to see what slacking went for. The problem with Shadow Claws that was a high crit rate, so like we're <laughs> kind of in trouble with that. Uh. Oh, okay, they targeted Valiant. Okay, okay, okay. Um. We still have to iron defense. Yeah, I'm just gonna hope we don't get crit, <laughs> really. So uh, let's just let's just do that. 
Um, and uh, I feel like I have to swing into, well, I could just protect, but that feels really passive. But I'm going to do it. Just thinking about the shenanigans that could occur. Okay, now we're max defense, which it helps, but again, if we get crited, we just die, so. Okay. Okay. You know? I'm here for that, actually. I shouldn't have protected, but, uh, that's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, I'm actually, oh, I can only use iron defense still, right? Um, I could encore the trick room. That'd be pretty cute. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is the play. I have to iron defense again, but if we just survive one more time, that's all we need. I guess I guess he could switch here. That would be bad. Um, but I'm hoping he doesn't. Oh, crap. Well, now he's locked into helping hands, so whatever. I really thought Valiant... Okay, that's fine. I really thought Valiant was going to be faster than slacking. Okay, they're locked into Helping Hand, which, like, isn't great. Do we want Trick Room here? No, I think we just swing at it. With both? Yeah, with both. We have to get rid of slacking. They didn't like the Helping Hand Encore, so here comes King Gambit. That's fine. No crit. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's a one shot. Oh, fantastic. We get, we get two KOs here now. That's that's great. Nice. Okay. Us not getting crit by Shadow Claw was imperative. <laughs> that's very important. Um, good to know. So it's probably not Assault Vest if Aura Sphere just gets the KO. Um, I'm happy with how we position that. That's good. Um, so Grafai and Screamtail. We have Shadow Ball for Screamtail. Um, I don't think I Terra. I think I can save that in the back. We should we should win. We got rid of the offensive pieces in in one go. So um, let's go for the heavy slam here and the Aura Sphere there. I guess Cotton has Terra still, but oh nice, yeah. Um, that's. I mean, I'm plus six. I'm still going to chunk. Okay. Grafai goes down. I mean, we have so much bulk on bronze on. Like, we should be fine. Uh, Valiant goes down, but... Let's see how much this plus six body press does. Double resisted. Probably not very much. Eh, it's enough. Okay. Um, it has no Protosynthesis. I think Leaf Storm just KOs. Uh, honestly, if we're gonna Terra, it's actually now. Um, we'll reveal the Electric Terra and go for Thunderbolt. I just need as much damage as possible to win. And, like, they could totally Terrestrialize here into something. Um, but, yeah. Because Leaf Storm's more damage, but, like, generally, but, uh, this is just better. It's more accurate, and I can get the pair in it. This should just knock out, so. I revealed Electric Terra, but, like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay. This should KO. Okay, nice. That's game one. Not bad. Let's run it back. Um, I might try and execute the... 
um, Dragapult Strat. Just because it sounds fun and I brought it and I want to, you know, he's probably going to be preparing for Bronze on, so. Um, I want to try something new. Although, no, if he leaves with two normal types, it's kind of bad. Because then I can't get my power herb and then I can't spam acrobatic. So maybe that's not the play. I think leading Valiant, just threatening um, slacking right off the bat is really good. Not worrying about setup or anything. I could lead... Uh, Pachikirisu is good. Bolt Absorb like isn't ideal, honestly. I kind of wish I did pick up instead. But I just, I want to start swinging right away, and, and uh, Valiant is really good here, so I think we'll do that. Um, I think I need Larry to deal with Garganackle if Garganackle comes. And um, we could still bring Barry. I think it's still like a good defensive swap and stuff, so we'll still bring it. Um, yeah, I don't have any, I didn't bring any dark typing, so I don't have any ghost resists, unfortunately. But um, I think we can deal. We're switching it up a little bit. I want to bring Dragapult. I mean, it's not that good, though, because there's Garganackle, there's Rotom, there's King Gambit. Yeah, it doesn't do enough, actually. I'm going to leave it behind. Interesting that Slacking outspeeds Valiant. Um, oh, is this Scarf? No, I just forget what speed tier I was at. <laughs> um, no, I'm modest max speed. So if he's jolly max speed, that would explain why he went down to Aura Sphere. Did he click anything besides Shadow Claw? He might be Scarf. Which makes sense to deal with Dragapult. So if that's the case, then respect. Okay. I don't... Let me think. So, obviously King Gambit's threatened here, so I feel like I should not target it. I don't really want to pop my Ghost Terra. But I also don't like having any good defensive switches here, so I think I just swing at Screamtail. I don't Terrastalize. Too risky. Um, and I just Rage Powder. I'm happy spamming Rage Powder if needed. I want to force a Terra as soon as I can, so, like, King Gambit is tearing, okay, or Screamtail is. Flying, okay. Fair and reasonable. Hopefully this does good damage. Not good enough. Mm, that breaks my sash. That's unfortunate. Crit doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. So down goes Vivian. Okay. Larry's in a good spot here. Um, I can't... Wait, do I... I do outspeed Screamtail. I, yeah, I definitely just protect from the Sucker Punch and I just Volt Switch. Yeah, I just don't want to get Sucker Punched. I need, uh, I need Valiant. And I might go Terra Ghost if this turn goes the way I want it to. Okay, that's fine. Just pivoting. Good chunk. Berry. Okay. In comes Bronze on probably taking a, a Dazzling Gleam, which is fine. Doesn't mind doing that at all. 
Oh. Once again, something that works in my favor. Um... I think I... I think I have to go back into Larry here. I lose my proto boost, but it's fine. Um, and I think I just heavy slam into... Yeah, I just heavy slam Screamtail. Because if King Gambit comes back in, it's going to take big damage. Yeah, okay. I mean, his defense is super high, but it's not a steel type anymore, right? So this is still like a good play for me. I don't want to get burnt at the end of this turn, though. That'd be very unfortunate. There's nothing. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. Got bailed out there. <laughs> But still, I, uh, not in the best of positions. Um, I think I need to go for the truck room reset with Barry here. And, um, I just swing a T-bolt, I think. Into whom, though? Because I could just bop... Yeah, I feel good about doing it into King Gambit. And let's go for Trick Room. Big damage. Okay. They connect with both. I'm so glad. Wait. Rotom's slower than Bronzong? How? Oh, I used Trick Room. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, King Gambit's down. That's great. Um, Bronzon did their job. Yeah, nice. And we still have Valiant in a good position. I mean, it's at like half HP, but... Uh, it's alright. It's really Rotom who's carrying this game. This is great for Rotom. Okay, um, Heavy Stem's gonna be doing, like, no damage, but I still think that's my line here. So, let's just Heavy Slam into Scream Tail. I am locked into Thunderbolt, but that's fine. I'm um, thankfully my Rotom matches up very well into Cotton's Rotom, so... Oh, Screamtail's going for Trick Room. That's very funny. Um, heavy Slam shouldn't KO. Eh, good damage for being burned, though. Who's the last Mon? Did we see them already? King Gambit? Rotom. I don't think we saw them. Who is it? Garg. Right. 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 Let's see if they let us turn off Trick Room. There's the salt cure. That's fine. Okay, this is, a, yeah, this is fine. I think we can deal with this. I think I am going to pivot out um, Rotom here for a couple reasons. One, I think I want to get a trick off, and two, I want to remove this alt cure. So we should be fine. We have a good enough advantage where I, we should be able to just break through Garganacle. They still have their Terra too, so I need to force that. No, they don't. They Terra King Gambit. Yeah, so they're, they're a rock type. So I might just keep Specs and go for Leaf Storm, actually. Um, but, uh... Yeah, we'll just we'll just get a body press in there. Yeah, I could trick choice specs, or I could just click leaf storm, <laughs> and I think that's a lot better. Um, just a little bit of damage there, not bad for being burned. Oh, he doubled it. Good for him. 
Uh, I survive though. There's probably a protect coming through, but if there is, I just encore it and then I win, I think. So um, I have the tools to make it happen. Smart to double um, that slot, though, even though the salt cure is already down. Because, yeah, if you go for protect here, then... Um, yeah, I should I should just win. Yeah. Because now I can encore that. It was cool having Bronzon and Rotom do so much work in these matches. Um, because they haven't really shown much in the other matches, but in this one, they both did a really good job, so it's really cool to see. Yeah, this is exactly why I brought Encore. Um, because now Garg is stuck without Trick Room. Leftovers, it's fine. So this turn is like super obvious. If Valiant survives, which would be kind of hype if it does. It does, nice. So yeah, this is an obvious switch. Um, or I could just Aura Sphere, but no, because the, the Protect is going to be successful. So we just do this. Okay, and then just a Leaf Storm should just win. Is going for Trick optimal? I don't think it is. I mean, I could do it though, because how many more? If, it depends on how many more turns they're encored for, right? Because that'd be kind of funny. Honestly, I don't know how it works though. I'm just going to Leaf Storm. Why mess with it, honestly? Um, I think I do terrestrialize this. Yeah, I do. I need as much damage as possible. And the other tears aren't doing anything for me, so. Um, ideally this protect fails. <laughs> it succeeds. Okay, that's fine. Um... Bronze will go down, but I get to get another Encore, so it works out, actually. We showed off the funny hat. That's what matters. We can Garganackle, dude. What a, what a silly, crazy mon. Okay. I hope my mons can do it. <laughs> they better. Um, I can just go for Encore again, and that should seal up the game. I miss, of course. Man, I'm gonna run out of Leaf Storm PP, actually. This is actually not not great. Yeah, I need to click another move, but I can't. This is, like, this is kinda not good. I need to, when, when the KO comes, I need to get it. Um. I could, like, start trying to play for timer, but I shouldn't. I think a Leaf Storm plus Aura Sphere should be able to do it. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Running out of my leaves from PP is actually pretty bad. I probably should have thought about that, but like, it also just does the most damage. Please just let me attack. I always go for Encore. Always. There we go. Okay, it just one shots. <laughs> okay. Sending a GG message. Um, and that's it. Cool. Um, we have one more match for the regular season left, and that's going to be up against uh, the previous BDSP champion, Golden Cosmos, and the winning Dragapult. It's going to be a time. It's going to be fun. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the Draft League content, and we'll be back as soon as that match is ready. Have a good one.